Good afternoon. They are a danger to people, pets, and wildlife. The more than 6,500 abandoned mines across New Mexico. But making them safe is a tedious process. News 13's Allison Martinez got to go along today to see what the Forest Service is doing to fix them. The U.S. Forest Service has been sealing up entrances to open mine shafts in the Lincoln National Forest. So we serve the people and we care for the land. And this project really does both of those things. Discovering 24 different locations, most of the mine shafts are in and around Rio Doso. The mines, which have been around for decades, have history that the Forest Service wants to preserve. A lot of the um, Smoky Bear Ranger District was historically mined. So um, as the miners settled in the west and started exploring for gold and silver. And their fix back in the 70s was to put up a fence, guarding off visitors. Unfortunately, that wasn't doing the trick. You know, fences need maintenance. And a lot of them just fell into disrepair. You know, animals tore them up. And this is what was left behind. Open gaps all over the forest, which pose a threat to hikers, people riding horses, and pets. These holes are not easily visible. Some of these mines are 200 feet deep. A lot of these are, you know, straight down holes. And if a dog or a person or a horse, you know, would happen to lose their footing coming down this hillside, next thing you know, they would, they would be at the bottom of the hole, probably dead. The solution grates do welcome one creature to go inside. Welding, roping, and hauling materials up and down this mountain is specifically how these got here, and they're bat friendly. They fly in circles, and so these bat grates have the right um, amount of height and the right opening sizes to enable the bats to go in and out. The final project will be completed by the spring of 2018. Allison Martinez, KRQE News 13. There are nearly 40,000 abandoned mines in the United States. These projects also try to help limit exposure to the minerals in the mines, such as lead, mercury, and zinc.